Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have been working on putting all of my pictures into a photo album. <laughs> now I did have them in a photo album that was from the 1970s. Uh, even when I lived in Asbury Park, I still had them in this old green photo album, you know, with the, the paper corners that, that glue on to the pages. And it had just gotten so old and I had moved it thousands of times and it was, they were beginning to stink, you know, those old uh, black cardboard type uh, pages that were in there. So I went ahead and removed all the pictures out of the photo album. I may still have some of the corners on them, I don't know. And um, my friend Brenda, she made me a photo album, a nice one. So I'm going to put all my pictures in there and I will get it out and, and show that to you. But I was starting to go through them and sort them out because I like putting my pictures in chronological order. So what I'll do is start from, um, you know, maybe my childhood, some of the few pictures that I do have from my childhood that I can stomach looking at. <laughs> I may put them in the beginning of the photo album and then I'll go on up through my teenage years and my early um, marriage um, to John. I won't be putting pictures of my marriage to little Scotty in there, but I want to talk to y'all about little Scotty because little Scotty ain't so little anymore. <laughs> room to talk um but anyway I did find a picture of him it took a lot of work and a lot of research uh, but I kept digging and digging and I found a picture of him I don't know how old is he it is but um it could be 10 or 15 years old I don't know but um I think you'll recognize him whenever you see it in the picture but I'm gonna have to screenshot it and then um try to you know blot out the other people that he's in the picture with but uh, y'all stay until the end and you'll get to see how little Scotty is not so little anymore. But I did want to show you some pictures that I came across. Um, and a lot of y'all have seen these already, but I also have a lot of new subscribers. So let me show you. Uh, this was my wedding day when I married little Scotty back on March the 1st, 1970. Yeah, 1970. I was 19. And that's my pretty wedding dress. I had to borrow it. There was no money for a wedding gown. So, um, and uh, this was there at the First Baptist Church in Lumberton. And uh, it still basically looks the same. That's where I go when I go home to, to attend funerals. It's right there in front of this same pulpit where the funerals are held. And then this is, um, me and little Scotty in the wedding party. Y'all, I could not decide on the color. I just could not. So I went with this rainbow wedding. So this is um, little Scotty's sister there. Her name is Debbie, and that's my sister, Bobby. And this is my little nephew, Tim, and my little niece, Tammy. And then my other niece, Phyllis. And that's little Scotty, and there I am. I don't remember the names of the grooms, the groomsmen. Those dresses are some ugly, ain't they? They look like those, um, what are they called? The, um, oh, those people that, the polygamy people. <laughs> I don't know, I can't think of their names. Oh, F-D-L-E or something. Um, and then, uh, oh, I found this picture of me putting Daddy's boutonniere on him. And that was in my Aunt Bert's house there in Lumberton. I have a picture of me pinning Mother's corsage on her, but it's in this bag somewhere. I haven't found it yet. So I have some more pictures. Uh, and this was me and John L. Sullivan on our wedding day. It was my second marriage, and there's no way I was going to get married in a white dress. So we just went to the Justice of the Peace at the courthouse and got married. And this was um, September the 26th, um, no, September the 27th, 1971. I divorced little Scotty in June of 1971. 
and Mayor John in September. We were madly in love. <laughs> oh, this man loved me so much, y'all. He would do anything for me. But he was Irish, and he had a drinking problem and couldn't stop. So I ended up divorcing him in 1991. I had really, really long hair there. I should have kept it. Uh, <laughs> uh, so here's a picture of me and John and uh, Jason and Jeremy and Jill. And we were a young married couple with a young family. I think Jill was about three, so Jeremy would have been six, and then Jason would have been uh, 11. So I would have been, let's see, about 33. And John was uh, 10 years older than me, so he would have been about 42, 43. And there we are. Y'all, that photographer had us laughing so hard. <laughs> I think my eyes are watering, but that's my natural hair, my natural hair color. So now this picture was taken probably about 10 years later. Seven years later, I was 40. This was back in the 80s, I reckon, when I was, I dyed my hair jet black, ain't that ugly. And I think I got a perm in it too. I mean, it looks awfully curly. But I was 40, Jason was 19, Jeremy 14, and Jill 11. This was August 1992. And this was um, after I had divorced John. I divorced him in, um, I don't know what month it was, but it was in 1991. So it was me and the, the three children. And then I have a few current pictures of me with um, Jill and Jason at her wedding. And this was on the island of Tobago in September um, 2015. It's a beautiful picture of, of Jason and Jill. She was a gorgeous bride. And uh, that's a, a skirt. Uh, she had her dress made by a tailor in Brooklyn, and he also made the skirt for her, which was removable. So she's even been able to wear the dress since then. And there I am with a little, a little dress and a little jacket, purple. I'm big as the side of a barn. <laughs> Was then and still am. Oh, and here's a picture of me and Jill holding baby Issa was um, a year old. And that's um, Jason and Jill there. Jason was the one who gave her away at her wedding. Her father had uh, already passed away before she got married. So um, that's I'm reminiscing for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And y'all just leave me some comments about uh, happy times in your lives and your marriage and um, different events that, that you've had fun at and that you have good memories of. And uh, don't forget to share my videos with your friends and family. And if you're just passing through, please subscribe and join our YouTube family. You will be loved and accepted here. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.